How can you quickly create thin walled parts in Fusion 360? Coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today, let's talk about creating uniform thick parts. I'm not talking about sheet metal necessarily, but how can we create these extrudes and these revolves that are pretty simple profiles? How can we do these faster? There's a great solution that SOLIDWORKS has called the thin feature. And Fusion doesn't really have a great answer for that today. So let's look at the different ways we can solve for that. So if I have, like we just saw, this very simple shape, you know, three lines, throw some dimensions on, get it fully defined. Okay, so I'm going to the trouble of getting this all defined. Snap it to the origin so it knows where it sits. Perfect, fully defined. And now what I want to do is extrude it. Well, I can't extrude as is unless I offset that in the sketch. I'm going to select one of these item or entities. It's going to grab everything because this chain selection is selected. You can, you can go either direction and you will still need to close that off with some line entities. Right, but what's cool is you kind of have some control there of you know manipulating this and editing it a little further if you want to. But if this is what you want is this uniform shape, then extrude that, and you're done. Great. So pretty simple, right? Um, you've got a sketch and a feature to control. This is where the depth lives. This is where. So let's make a change to this and see how that workflow is. Uh, make sure that the offset something a little bit simpler. Point two. Perfect. Let's introduce the change. Arc. Great. So I've got these, and I want to offset those. At point two. Terrific. got to trim and extend so we'll extend anything that needs to be a little bit longer to reach those look good looks good extend that one okay if we start trimming I understand this is kind of a lot of work just to make these changes to this shape There we go, looks good, hit update, and it extrudes, perfect. Okay, so that's that thin feature and maybe how you can modify it significantly down the road. Now let's look at a totally different strategy for the kind of the same thing. So in this new sketch, what I have is that old starting place. I'm gonna copy paste that over, grab that from earlier. And what I wanna do instead this time is I'm not going to finish sketching it. I'll just sketch the, the lines really quick. Great. So I've got the dimensions as I need them. Looks good. This is what I want. But instead of having to offset everything, I can extrude this as a surface. A surface does not have to have a thickness. I can extrude it. Great. But again, this is a surface body. If I look into my bodies, Folder, I'll only see a surface body, no thickness. Now, in order for me to achieve what we just had, I'm going to have to thicken it. I'll thicken select the three faces, bring it in, bring it out, however you want to solve that. Great. So what do we have? We have the sketch, which is just some lines, the surface extrusion, and then the thicken. Now, if I want to do the exact same thing where I come back to that original sketch, it's going to be easier to introduce two new arcs. Right, there's just less going on here. That's great. Okay, a little got you there for me is that line extends, but that's actually just a dimension line. It was kind of throwing me off. Right, so as I make this change and hit OK, this is a significantly different shape than when I just extruded the surface. So naturally, it fails, right? So got to come in and actually reselect the new entities. It's not like I just changed the size. I actually introduced new arcs. And again, not only does the surface fail, 
the thicken does too because it doesn't know what needs to be selected. So I have to come back in and select everything. There we go. So it's kind of almost sixes in this case of which one feels a little bit easier. In this case, I kind of prefer working with a simpler sketch to begin with and then being able to kind of manipulate that faster. And, and then as long as I'm not changing the entities altogether or drawing them again, it's going to update very quickly. The challenge is you will have a surface body. So if you're dealing with other people on the team or you're working collaborating, then sometimes surface bodies can be a little bit um, challenging for some people to work with, but not something you have to be afraid of. Let's look at the revolve for a second. Again, I'm going to do kind of this simple line design. So we've got this shape, and I'll even fill it that kind of rough edge there. Better. Nice. Okay. Drop in the dimensions. Or not. Probably should, right? So I'm going to revolve this around this construction line. And I'm first going to do a surface revolve. Got a bunch of different revolves here. In the modeling space, the surface, and then the T-splines, I'll just do the surface, and I'm going to do this entity or chain of entities, and the axis I'm revolving around is right here, and it gives me that shape. Again, you probably already know the next step. we got to thicken this, right? So we'll thicken this shape. Point two looks good. Accept it, done. Okay, so I've got this revolve really quickly. That would have been a little bit longer, I think, to create that as offsets, right? So it could offset it and then I have to close it off. So um, you can see there's two styles to the same solution. But in this case, um, I usually, I like working with surfaces in this way. So there's two different styles, kind of the same endpoint. So depending on what you prefer, um, I actually typically like to use the surface method. So thanks for watching how to do thin features. Hope this was helpful.